Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are hello, you? Teacher. Thank you. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for joining the meeting today. So we are 16 participants right now. We still have probably more people joining. Okay, so right now, let me see, we are 18. Well, let's start with the ones that are right now, right here. So hello, welcome. Thank you for being in the class. Um, I don't know what you did in, during the weekend. Hopefully you did something nice, something as special. As I told you, you don't, sometimes you don't really need money to do something, right? You can go to the... <laughs> You can go to the street just to see cars, okay? Count cars or do something. It's not mandatory, right, to have the money to, to um, do something funny. So let's see. Yeah, we are there in the meeting. Okay, thank you for joining. Now we are 18 participants. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me share the screen, but first I would like to listen a couple of you. Thank you, Senia, for joining. Xiomara is joining right now, Xiomara Jamilet. So thank you for your cameras. We are 20 right now. So I would like to know if you have something important to say, if you did something uh, during the weekend that we can share with the class. I don't know, did you cook something special? Did you watch a movie? Did you went to the beach? Did you went to the church? I don't know. Did you do something interesting during the weekend? Did you work in the platform, by the way? <laughs> I hope so, right? I hope that yes, that you were able to uh, be working on the platform, okay? I know that a couple of you are already working on, but I know also that we have people that is not even um, opening the, the, the platform. I don't know why, but I received a message from the coordinator today, and he told us that, that there was people that it was not even um, have an act, uh, first access to the to the um, platform. So if you haven't even started, so please do it as soon as possible. Ahí nos mandaron un mensajito diciendo que habían algunos que ni siquiera han ingresado a la plataforma. La plataforma traquea el tiempo y el acceso de cada uno por medio de su usuario. Y sí. Eh, dijeron por ahí que habían algunos que ni siquiera han ingresado. Así es que espero que no sea ninguno de ustedes que estén así bien atrasados. Esta semana, acuérdese lo que yo les dije desde el primer día, usted puede básicamente terminar la plataforma si usted quiere ya. Sí se puede hacer, ¿ok? No piense o crea que porque vamos nosotros acá en la unidad 1, usted tiene que ir en la unidad 1. No. Podemos estar aquí en la unidad 1 y usted puede ir ya terminando las 5. Ok. So, si usted no ha ingresado a la plataforma, please do it. Ok. 
open the platform, trabaje en los ejercicios, no se detenga, no diga, uy, no, este, me voy a adelantar mucho. Tiene que completar la plataforma antes de que nosotros lleguemos al final acá. Ok, no sé si alguien tiene problemas para entrar a la plataforma o todos ya tienen acceso, todos ya lograron iniciar o avanzar en sus ejercicios. Yo tengo una consulta, teacher. Este, yo ya voy, creo que finalizando la, la, la unidad 2, creo. Uh -huh. Pero en la 1 estaba viendo el progreso y me sale 80%. ¿Será porque quizás no, no contesté alguna de las que dicen ahí que hay que como hacer como discusión y mandarla al foro? Probablemente, probablemente. Usted probable... ¿Cuál es el problema que me quede con 80? Con 80 usted está aprobado. O sea, usted con 80 pasa. Ah, ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. No hay problema. Con 80 usted está no set. No afecta, ¿verdad? No. Ah, va. Pero probablemente esos ejercicios ah, son los que le, le puedan estar haciendo la, el discount. Ahí esos ejercicios de, que son como un ajá. chat. Ok. Ajá, Tal vez exacto, lo que lo como que... eran los primeros eh, no entendía mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces... Ok, no problem. Lo que puede hacer, Carla, igual si alguien está en esa situación, avanzar lo más que pueda y si al final le queda tiempo, usted puede regresar a ejercicios anteriores y terminar como de completar para ir subir los, los porcentajes. No hay problema. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. So, thank you, thank you, Carla. No problem. The rest, questions. Vamos bien con la plataforma. Alguien... ¿Le ha dado algún problema? Creo que alguien, no sé si de este grupo me escribió, pero ahí logramos resolver. Eh, de ahí, no sé, ¿todo bien? ¿Han avanzado en la plataforma? ¿Cómo van? ¿Se entienden los ejercicios? ¿O hay algún ejercicio que usted lo ha sentido complicado? Ok, bien. Vamos a asumir que estamos bien. Let me, let me share the screen. Right now, um, um, we are going to continue with the presentation that we have. Remember that we are learning the uh, simple present, right? So, ahí estamos en el presente simple. So, uh, let's see. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Si sí, recuerdo que les había dicho que les iba a preguntar, ¿verdad? So, let's see, Wendy Beatriz, Wendy Beatriz, uh, when we are going to use the simple present, when we are going to use the simple present? Um, use the simple present when, uh, when everyday activity. Ah, ok, whatever the activities. Perfect. Let's see Abigail Villalta. The same question, Abigail Villalta. When we are going to use the simple present? The simple present used for routines. For routines. Perfect. Ok, yes. Ok, we mentioned routines, ok, something that you do every day, ok, everyday activities, ok, let's see, Sara Guzmán, Sara Guzmán, uh, let's see, um, give me an example of a simple present routine or everyday activity, that can be what, que, que actividad we can do every day, Um, I work every day. Okay, perfect. I work every day. That's an example. Remember, I told you, right? So we are going to use the simple present for everyday activities, routines, like, for example, I get up, I eat, I take a shower, I eat my lunch, I have my breakfast, I go to work, I study, I get dressed, 
So I brush my teeth, I comb my hair, I undress, okay, I sleep. So everyday activities, what you do every single day, those are activities in, or, or uh, actions in which we are going to um, do, um, we are going to use the simple present, right? For something that I do every day, every week, every month, every year, but it's consecutive or uh, a repetitive activity, right? Uh, let's see, let's see, Sandra, give me another example. Sandra Evelyn, give me another example of a uh, simple present. Give me an example, simple present. He take a train for good work. He takes the train for the work. The train for Work. Uh, okay, work. he mm -hmm. takes the train for work. Okay, so let's see. Thank you, Sandra. Nice. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Remberto Alejandro, give me another example using simple present, please. You are on mute right now, remember? ¿Cómo se dice tomo? Take. I take and the bus for, for the work. Okay, I take the bus for work. I take the bus every day for work. For work. Okay, I take the bus every day to go to work or for work, okay? Thank you, remember? Nice, okay, let's see. Did you remember that I told you that we have a formula, right, for the simple precedent? Did you, did you remember that I told you that we have positive sentences, negative sentences, and questions, right? So an example of a positive sentence, it's I drink water every day, okay? That's a positive sentence, right? I drink water every day. So I, this is the subject, drink will be the verb, uh, water every day, that will be the complement, right? So let's see, Cindy Marilu, okay? I drink water every day. That is Cindy, the positive sentence. Could you please change the same question into negative? Uh, repeat the sentence. Mm -hmm. The sentence is, I drink water every day. Uh, I don't drink water every day. Perfect. Negative, right? I don't drink water every day. Perfect. Uh, Senia Patricia, I don't know if you have a question or you would like to participate. Hi, teacher. Hi, Senia. How are you? I don't see your camera, Senia. A camera. Yeah, sorry. I have a problem. I'm sorry, teacher. Okay, now yes, <laughs> Anya. In my cell, in my cell. Uh, okay. Example, example for what's example, teacher? Okay, now let's see. We have the question, the sentence I drink water every day. Now, since they mentioned the negative, I don't drink water every day. Now, Senia, could you please do the question? Do the question for the same sentence. I not say a shower at night. Do I, do I drink hmm. water every day? Okay, let's see. Let's see one at a time. Let's see Senia. Okay, Senia Patricia. Water. Other example, the same, okay. Uh, the same example. Senia, we have the sentence. I drink water every day. Positive. I don't drink water every day. Negative. Now, how we can do the question? La misma oración, pero ahora en pregunta. Pregunta sería they, they drink water. El problema es que hay una de las Okay, let's see. 
Uh, Claudia, I guess you have the audio on. Claudia, make sure that you are on mute. Claudia Quintanilla. Okay, Let me mute right here. Porque no muchos micrófonos abiertos. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, Yesenia. Okay, let's see. Let's see somebody else. Uh, let's see Lisette. Lisette Esmeralda. Lisette Esmeralda, please, the same uh, sentence, but now as a question, please. You are on mute, Lisette. No le escuchamos. Yeah, teacher, me escucha. Oh, yes, now yes. Thank you, yes. Lisette. Now, okay. Repeat. Okay, estamos en el presente simple. Tenemos la oración, yes. I drink water every day, positive. I don't drink water every day, negative. Question, that's the one that we need, okay? We need the question for that sentence. Oh, sería, I don't drink. Mm -hmm. That's it. That would be positive. Uh, that would be negative. Okay. Don't worry. Let's see Claudia Quintanilla. Worry. Okay. Cla Claudia Quintanilla, please. Do I drink with every day? Perfect. Do I drink water no. every day? So that would be the question. Okay. So let's okay. see Jennifer Lemus. Which ones are the two auxiliaries that we have in simple present tense? Which ones are Positive. the auxiliaries? No, look, listen the question. Which ones are the auxiliaries that we mentioned last class that we have in simple present? Which ones are the auxiliaries that we use? Uh, auxiliary is do or does. Perfect. Do and does. Those are the two auxiliaries that we use in simple present. Do and does. Roxana Patricia, which ones are the subjects that we are going to use with does? Which ones are the subjects, okay, that we are going to use with the auxiliary does? Roxana Patricia. With does, he, she, and it. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. For the auxiliary does, it's just for he, she, it. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Jancy. Jancy Herminia. Okay. Jancy Herminia. What about does? Uh, I'm sorry. What about do? If we have the auxiliary do, which ones will be the subjects that we can use with do? And I, you, we, they. Perfect, okay? Those are the subjects. I say, I do, he does, she does, we do, they do, okay? So, nice. Let's see uh, Jasmine Amilet. Jasmine Amilet. So, uh, could you please tell me the auxiliaries, but in negative, okay? We have do and does, those are positive. Okay, now the same auxiliaries, but in negative. Perfect, Jasmine, done and doesn't, okay? If I want to create a negative sentence, I say, I don't eat pupusas in the morning, okay? Or he doesn't eat pupusas every morning, okay? Perfect, nice, estamos, si todos estamos con esa información así bien clarito, vamos bien, okay? Eso no se le tiene que olvidar. When we are going to use the simple present, how to create a sentence in positive and negative as a question, which ones are the auxiliaries and which are the subjects for each auxiliary and also how to create, uh, how you can uh, use the auxiliary in a negative way, okay? Eso es lo que hemos visto hasta el momento, okay? Let's see what else do we have right here. 
uh, let's see, let's see, let's see who. Um, Sonia Araceli, Sonia Araceli, could you please help me with the reading? Okay, ayúdeme a leer acá el lesson objective, please. Okay. ¿Me escucha? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. By day F of this class, you will be able to make sample present statement use regular verbs. Okay, thank you. Okay, it says right here that by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs, okay? Uh, what do we mention that statements are? ¿Qué dijimos que era esto de statements? Did you remember? Oraciones. Ok, perfect. Oraciones, ok. Vamos a aprender a crear oraciones en presente simple, pero con regular verbs, ok. Veamos qué más tenemos acá, ok. Look, simple present statements, ok. Esto creo que ya lo habíamos visto, right? I walk to school, you write, you don't, ok. Aquí tenemos los auxiliares. We have the formula right here. And we are going to continue with this part, ok. La fórmula, este ya lo teníamos la vez anterior. Aquí está, ok. El verbo to be. And we have the formula right here for the simple present with the auxiliaries, ok. Let's see right here. It says simple present statements, ok. So we have the statements right there. And we are going to complete the sentences that we have right here. It says letter eight, exercise eight. Paul Carter is talking about his family. Complete the sentences with the correct form, then compare with a partner, ok? Let's do it together. Vamos a hacer esta, estas oraciones y dice que él está hablando, Paul está hablando de su familia, ok? Vamos a completar usando la forma correcta, ok? De los verbos, ok? Look at in parentheses, we have the two options, ok? So you need to select one of the two options depending on the subject, okay? So, uh, let's see, Janet del Rosario, okay? You start with number one and just the first sentence, okay? Please, Janet, go ahead. My family and I live in the suburb. Thank you, perfect. This is the example, okay? Fíjese bien, usted va a seleccionar un verbo de los dos que están aquí entre paréntesis, okay? So my family and I live, okay? This one, el verbo no cambia porque estamos hablando de dos personas o más. My family and I live in the uh, suburbs, okay? Nice, let's continue. Uh, let's see Seneida, Seneida Esther Lee. Okay, continue with the next sentence, por acá. My wife, I, I, I work. Near here. Thank you. Okay. My wife and I work near here. Okay. Ahí no cambia el verbo porque igual estamos hablando de mi esposa y yo. Es decir, dos personas, right? My wife and I work near here. Okay. Uh, let's see, Carla. Uh, Carla Albergue, continue with the next one, please. So we walk to work. Perfect. So, we walk to work. El verbo no cambia, no le agrego nada, ¿ok? Porque estamos hablando de we, más de dos personas, ¿ok? Uh, let's see. The next one, Samuel Davy. Samuel Davy, continue with this one, please. Uh, oh, daughter Emily Gors. Words. Words. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Our daughter Emily works. Aquí sí le pongo ese because our daughter Emily, that is a third person. Este es como que yo diga she, un ella, right? Our daughter Emily works downtown. Okay. Uh, let's see, Sofia Avalos. Continue with the next one, Sofia Avalos.
Hola, hola, Sofía, Sofía Ábalos. So I'm here already. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Déjenme poner a mute. Okay, perfect. So now I'm connecting one more time. Let me share the screen, sorry. I don't know what happened. Okay, sorry. Estábamos con Sofía. Hello, Sofía, can you hear me? Yes. Um... So she drive. So she drive to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Sofia, is she drive or she drives? Drive. Perfect with letter S, right? So remember third person. So she drives to work. Okay, continue with the next okay. one, Jennifer Lemos. Please continue with the next one. Um, also, doesn't drive. Perfect. Or son doesn't drive. Continue, Sandra Evelyn. Sandra Evelyn. Ahorita, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, he rides his bike to school. Okay, he rides. Okay, with S, right? He Ride. rides his bike He's to school. To school. Thank you. Abigail uh, Villalta. Abigail Villalta. Continue with the next one, number two. My parents live in the city. My parents live, right? Just live because they are two. My parents live in the city, okay? Uh, let's see Roxana Patricia. My mother takes a train to work. Perfect, my mother takes a train to work. Continue. Uh, just, quiero ver, no, Jasmine ya le pregunté. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. ¿Quién no le he preguntado? Tatiana López. Tatiana López. Continue with the next one. My father is fighter, so he don't he work. don't? No. He don't or he doesn't? Doesn't. Ah, okay. He doesn't work now. Perfect. My father is retired. Okay. So he doesn't work now. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Walter, Wilfredo, the next one. He also used public tra transportation. Mm -hmm. He also uses or he also uses? Use. Mm, this is a third person, okay? Este es un he, es tercera persona. He also uses, okay, with S. Uses public transportation. And the last one, so they don't need a car. So they don't need a car okay let's see what else we have right here okay right now we are going to create uh, our own sentences okay please write three sentences but you have like i don't know like three or five minutes the most okay remember the time is really short 
tenemos poco tiempo. In five minutes, you need to create three sentences in positive, three sentences in negative, and three questions, ¿ok? Write it down. Anote por ahí en su cuaderno, lápiz, lo que sea que tenga. Trate de anotar um, tres oraciones positive, three negative, and three questions, ¿ok? You have five minutes only, ¿ok? So let's do it now, please, really quick. Use different subjects. No solo me ponga I, 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 I. Ponga he, she, we. O ponga Juan en Marcos. Juanito Chepito. Uh, Lupita en Rosita. Ok. Try to use different, um, different, different, different subjects. Simple present, three positives, three negatives, and three questions. Okay, let's do it quickly, please. One more minute. Okay, so let's start. If you haven't finished, si no ha terminado, ahí sigue escribiendo, okay? So three, three, and three. Okay, let's see. Vamos a empezar. Pay attention to uh, your classmates. Classmates son los compañeros de trabajo, right? Los classmates, okay? Listen to your classmates because you don't know um, who will, uh, who will uh, complete the other sentence, okay? Uh, as an example, yo digo una oración en positiva, yo le voy a pedir a Senia, por ejemplo, que la haga en negativo. Después Senia le va a decir a Sonia que la haga pregunta. Después Sonia va a leer una de sus oraciones en negativo y le va a decir a Jasmine que la haga en positivo. Después Jasmine le va a decir a Samuel que haga pregunta. Después Samuel va a hacer otra y le va a decir que la haga en negativo. En so on, en so on, en so on. Ok. So be ready. Están listos ahí con el micrófono y pongan atención a la oración de sus compañeros. Ok. So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver con quién iniciamos acá. Tengo a. Um, ¿Quién no le hemos preguntado? Xiomara Yamilet. Xiomara Yamilet, read one of your sentences. Léanos una de las que usted ha creado. Xiomara. 
she plays soccer. Uh -huh. She plays. La S no se nos olvide ahí en el verbo. She plays okay. soccer Play. every day. Soccer. Ok, Xiomara. Voy a, quizás voy a dejar de compartir esta presentación para que veamos los rostros de todos y así se nos haga más fácil eh, quiero ver así podemos ver el, el Hello, hello, hello. Now you can hear me. No sé si ahora me escuchan. Sorry, no sé qué pasó ahí, que no me escuchaba. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Yes. Perfect. Nice. Yes, Let's see, Xiomara. Repeat your sentence, please. Repita la oración que usted tenía. Xiomara. She, okay. She played soccer every day. Okay, thank you. She plays soccer every day. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Uh, Abigail Villalta. Negative. The same questions in negative. Abigail? Bueno, no me contesta Abigail. Uh, Janet del Rosario, the same uh, sentence, but in negative. Uh, she doesn't soccer every day. She doesn't play soccer every day. She doesn't play no. soccer every day. Uh, let's see, the same sentence, but in negative. Uh, let's see, Jasmine, Amilet. No se le escucha, sorry, Jasmine. Uh -huh. Let's see, that is a negative, okay, negative. Let's see, Sara Guzmán. Sara Guzmán, question. La positive was, she plays soccer every day. Negative. She doesn't play soccer every day. Now we need the question, Sara. Okay. Does she play soccer every day? Perfect. Thank you. Samuel, read one of your questions, please. One of your, yeah, one of your questions. Escribieron tres negatives, three positives, and three questions. Samuel, David, read one of your questions, please. La que yo tenga, cualquiera. Ya, yeah, pero pregunta. Okay. Is she reading a book? Is she reading a book? Is she reading a book? But that would be, that would be a uh, verb to be. Okay. Eso sería el verbo to be. 
Necesitamos en presente simple. Léame otra, David, que usted haya hecho. Eh, sí, tenía la otra de, la de soccer tenía, pero quiero ver otra. Eh, the, does the play en básquet? No sé cómo se pone básquet. Ok, does he play basketball? Probably, ok, does he play basketball? Ok, let's see, uh, Claudia Quintanilla, the same but now in negative. Does he play basketball? That's the question, Claudia Quintanilla, now we need um, the negative. He does not drive a car. I'm sorry. La, la, Claudia, la, la pregunta, la, la que tenemos es, does he play basketball? Does he play basketball? Now we need the same, but in negative. He does not play basketball. Perfect. He doesn't play basketball. Sofía Eugenia, positive. La misma, pero en positivo. You are on mute, Sofia. You are on mute. He, uh -huh. he plays basketball. He plays, no se les olvide la S, ok. He plays basketball. He plays basketball. Nice. Veamos a alguien que no le haya preguntado por aquí. Um, creo que ya todos les he preguntado por este momento. Ok, so let's continue. Faltan ahí. Vamos a hacer otro día por cuestión de tiempo. No seguimos este con más, más preguntas, pero sí, we need to practice. Okay? Let me uh, make bigger the screen one more time para que podamos seguir acá. Ok, so let's see what else do we have right here. Okay, now we have the simple present with irregulars, okay? Irregular birds, okay? Más adelante aquí les voy a poner las, la fórmula de los verbos, okay? Aquí, eh, in los irregular birds, we have something a little bit different, okay? Aquí el verbo cambia totalmente, okay? If you see, we have three birds right here. We have the bird have. Do and go. Miren los verbos que tenemos aquí. Es el have, do and go. I, with the subjects, I, you, we and they, el verbo no cambia. Ok. Listen, mañana les voy a preguntar esto. Ok. Ponga por ahí, anote. Con los sujetos, I, you, we and they, el verbo no cambia. Ok. The verb will be exactly the same. But with the third person, con la tercera, tercera persona, with the third person, we need to do something different, okay? Look, he, she, it. Yo digo, I have, he has. Yo digo, we do, my mother does, okay? My parents go. The bus, the bus goes. Ok, les voy a dar una lista de verbos. Esto de los verbos hay que aprenderlos. No hay como una fórmula mágica donde yo los tenga que, que clasificar. Los regulares sí, pero los irregulares no. Entonces estos hay que memorizarlos. Hay unas listas de verbos. Si usted va a Google y usted pone irregular verbs list, le van a salir miles y miles y miles y miles de verbos que usted tiene ahí para poder aprender. Ok. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if we are able to complete this exercise together. Let exercise B. It says, Ashley is talking about her family and her friend Jason. Ok. Complete the sentence, then confirm with a partner. Ok. Uh, yeah, Sofia Eugenia, I don't know if you have a question. 
I'm here. I see that you are writing down in the chat. Uh, yes, I will share the link. Uh, escríbame un mensajito. A ese número, please, and I will send you the link invitation for the group, okay? Para, ahí lo tengo, ya se lo voy a mandar. Okay, so let's see if we can complete okay. this. Uh, no problem. Carla, Albert, uh, Carla Alberghi, please start with the first one. Uh, my parents or my, or my mom? This one, my parents. Okay, my parents have a house in the suburbs. Thank you, nice. Continue, Wendy Beatriz. Okay, my mom and dad got downtown to work. Mm -hmm. Go or ghost? What would the verb be? Go or, or ghost? My mom and dad go downtown go. to work. Perfect. Go porque esto sería my mom and my dad. Son dos, ¿verdad? Sería como ellos. They, okay? They go downtown to work. Continue, uh, let's see, Janet del Rosario, this one. Janet. Hello, hello, hello. No sé si me escuchan. Janet. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, so, teacher. Let's see. I don't know if Janet, you have problems. So, Jennifer Lemus, please go ahead. This one. Uh, my parents are very busy. So, I do mm -hmm. a lot of work at home. Perfect. My parents are very busy. Okay, listen, busy. No me digan busy. Busy, 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 busy. Okay, muy ocupados. Mis papás están muy ocupados. Esto es busy. Usted me quiere decir, mire, yo ahorita estoy bien ocupado. Usted me puede decir, I'm busy. Okay, I'm busy means que usted está muy ocupado. Busy. busy, perfect. So I do a lot of work at home. Perfect, Jennifer, nice. Uh, Seneida, continue with the next one. Number two, please. My brother, that is mm -hmm. doesn't live in the house. He has an apartment. In the city. Thank you. My brother doesn't live with us. He has an apartment, apartment, apartment. Listen, apartment. Okay, look, esta palabra nos cuesta a veces porque la queremos como, como, como en el español, apartamento, right? So, but in English, apartment. Okay, apartment in the city. Thank you, Seneida. Uh, Janet del Rosario, continue, please. He he goes to school all day. Perfect. He goes. Okay. Tercera persona. He goes to school every day. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sandra Evelyn, continue with the last one. And? And he does office work at night. Perfect. And he does. Okay. Sandra and does. He does. Does okay, do does do does okay, perfect, Sandra. And he does office work at night, perfect. Roxana Patricia, continue. Number three, I have a new friend. Continue, his name is Jay. Perfect. We I have go to the same school and sometimes continue. 
um, sometimes we do our homework together. Perfect. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go to the same school and sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we do our homework together. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. We are doing amazing. And look, probably we are going to stop right here. Okay. But this is the rules. Okay. En los verbos, como les digo, hay algunas reglas. Pero las reglas son nada más para los um, verbos. Eh, para la, la, la regla es para la tercera persona en los verbos. Ok. Si ya dije yo que para I, we, they, you no cambia. Right. Pero el verbo cambia para un él, un he. Una ella, un she o un it, que es para un animal, un objeto, una cosa. Ok, cuando yo uso la tercera persona, que sería he, she, it, el verbo va a cambiar. Ok, yo digo, I work every day, pero yo digo, he works every day. I work, he works. Ok, esa es... Si es posible usted, exagérela para que se escuche que usted sabe la gramática del verbo del presente simple. Fíjese bien, in general, we need to add an est. Ok, en general, normalmente, casi a un 60% de los verbos, usted, les va, usted le va a agregar una S. No a todos. Casi a todos, pero no a todos. Así que no me le vaya a poner S a todos los verbos, porque hay una regla, ¿ok? A la gran mayoría, sí. A la tercera persona en el presente simple, al verbo le debo de agregar una S. Look at the examples that we have right here. We have work, works, eat, eats, play, plays, swing, swims, right, writes. ¿Ok? Esta es, la, esta es la más fácil, agregarle la S al verbo cuando me estoy refiriendo a una tercera persona. Una tercera persona, ya dijimos, es un he o she o un it. Puede ser Chepito, Juanito, Marillita, Carlitos, ¿verdad? Lo que sea, pero es una tercera persona. Le voy a agregar la letra S. ¿Ok? Then we have the other proof, la segunda regla. Dice que verbs ending in consonant plus Why you need to change the Y and add a e -E -S. Los verbos que terminan en una consonante Y, ok, la, ¿cómo le en español? La Y, that's la Y, right? Ok, los que terminan en esta consonante, usted va a eliminar la Y. Ok, la Y la va a eliminar y la va a sustituir por una I latina, una I normal. Y luego le va a agregar la ES. Ok, so, acuérdese, cuando usted esté hablando en el presente simple y esté hablando en tercera persona y usted tiene un verbo que termina en una Y, ok, so, voy a quitar la letter white. Y la voy a sustituir por una I latina y le voy a agregar IS al verbo. Mire los verbos, está study, para un, yo digo, I study English. Pero yo quiero decir, ella estudia inglés. She studies. ¿Ok? Ahí voy a poner la regla. ¿Ok? Yo digo, I cried every weekend. Yo lloro todos los fines de semana, pero yo quiero decir ella llora. She cries. I cry, she cries. Remember, esta regla es solamente para la tercera persona. Un él, un ella, una cosa en el presente simple. Acuérdense que estamos aprendiendo el simple present. Try, tries. Uh, spied, spiced. Flight, flights. Ok. So, esta es la segunda regla. Then we have the last one, la tercera regla. 
Los verbos que terminan en O, SH, T, CH, X, en S, est, a esos yo les voy a agregar una IS. Ok, vea el ejemplo. Yo digo, I go to school. Pero yo quiero decir, él va a la escuela. Ya dijimos que he goes. Ok, I go to school, but he goes to school. Ok, los verbos que terminan en O, SH, CH, EX, o que terminan en una X o en una SS. No le voy a poner solo la S, ni voy a cambiar la Y, right? Aquí le voy a agregar IS a los verbos. Usted lo que tiene que aprenderse son las terminaciones, ¿ok? Ah, si termina en Y, cambio la Y por una I latina, una I normal, y le pongo IS. Si el verbo termina en O, SH, CH, X o doble S, doble S, le voy a agregar a los verbos y es. Ok. Yo digo, I wash my uh, clothes. Pero yo quiero decir, él lava su ropa. He washes his clothes. Ok. Watch TV, washes. Mix, mixes. Kiss, kisses. Ok. Yo digo, I kiss my baby. So, I kiss my baby. Pero yo quiero decir, ella. Besa a su bebé. She kisses her baby. I don't know if we are clear. No sé si estamos bien con esta información o hay alguna duda con esta regla. Vuelvo y repito, esta es la regla para los verbos del presente simple, pero para la tercera persona. Cuando yo estoy hablando de una, uh, de un él, un ella o una cosa. ¿Estamos bien? Esta, esta presentación. Yes, Gracias. Yes, Perfect. Yes, esta presentación se las voy a estar ahí siempre compartiendo al final de la semana para que ustedes lo tengan. Puede tomarle captura. Si alguien lo desea también lo pueden hacer. Pero aquí está la regla. No es que a todos los verbos le voy a meter ese a lo loco. No, hay una regla. Ahora ya usted sabe. ¿Cuál es la regla para la tercera persona? Ok. Nice. Let's see. We have the last. Creo que ya no tenemos tiempo, pero eh, I'm going to read it just one time. And tomorrow we are going to practice this conversation. Ok. This is a conversation between Jack and Amy. Ok. And it says, uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Perfect, okay. I don't know if we have any new work, alguna palabra nueva en esta conversación. No. Cindy. You raise your hand, Cindy Marilu. Eh, sí, eh, what is the meaning? Let's, let's meet. meet. Let's meet. Okay, let's meet. Then let's meet. Bien, veámonos, encontrémonos como que usted esté haciendo una cita con alguien y le dice, vaya, pues ahí nos vemos ahí en el mercado. Ah, pues nos vemos en el súper. Ah, pues ahí nos vemos en metro, dice usted, cuando le está diciendo a alguien, ¿a qué hora pues puede? Ah, yo puedo a las cinco, yo a las seis, vaya, pues. Ahí nos encontramos ahí en el, en el food court, le dice usted, right? So, let's meet. Ok, let's meet. Nos encontramos en este restaurante, le dice, a la una en punto. Ok. So, uh, tomorrow we, uh, Jennifer, I'm sorry, Jennifer Lemos. 
Sí, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué significa early? Early. Ok, that's early, le dice por aquí. Quiero ver a dónde está, ok. Uh, what time do you... That's early, early, temprano, ok. Él le está diciendo que a qué hora se levanta los domingos y le dice, ay, yo me levanto a las 10. Ay, eso está temprano, le dice, yo me levanto al mediodía. I get up at noon. Ok, eso de at noon, esto es al mediodía, at noon. Ok, usted me quiere decir, mire, yo me, yo como o me levanto a las 12 del día, o sea, ya no es la mañana, ya es at noon, ok, mediodía. Ok, so uh, we are going to stop right now for uh, today. Tomorrow we are going to continue with the, um, we are going to continue with this conversation, ok, that we can practice. And um, we do have many, many other activities to complete. Por favor, sorry that I'm switching to Spanish, but please um, work in the platform. Trabajen en la plataforma, por favor. Eh, pueden llegar hasta el final de ser posible. Ya dejé de compartir pantalla. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Nos encontramos.